Kareem here with Noor. Want to learn about the art of manliness? Stick around. I think you'll like these tips. So what does it mean to be a man? Obviously there's cultural, religious, individual, social definitions. It almost seems like today in our androgynous society we have no idea what anything is anymore. Everyone is just picking and choosing what they want. Let's take it back to at least the Arabic language for those of us that identify with the Islamic tradition for guidance. Now, the word for man in Arabic is rajulun, and this root word actually gives us a lot of interesting meanings. And if anyone goes to a Quranic dictionary and looks this up, you'll likely find these words. First of all, rajulun is connected to the word for foot or leg which means that you are a foot soldier, or someone who can stand on your own two feet, someone who obviously can move and walk and take action. There's motion there, right? We often hear this idea of like, you wanna be a man, just get up and go do it already, okay? So Nike got it right, just do it. Uh, it also means one who is free from his mother. And we get this a lot in our community. Too many mama's boys out there, right? They go from being spoiled little princes in their homes, and then once they get married to a woman who actually calls them out on their mistakes, they don't know how to handle it, so they run back to mommy, and mommy makes them feel so special and unique again. Masculinity is being able to hold your own, trusting in your inner gut, and of course, taking responsibility and accepting the mistakes that you make. That's part of what it means to be a true man. The other meaning that we find connected to this word is allow the suckling of the young. In other words, there is this protector, this provider instinct and attribute that he is willing to sacrifice and put in that effort to make sure that offspring and the future of the species uh, can continue. The other meaning that we find connected to this word is one who can climb down without a rope. And this is very interesting because when I speak to men in my men's group or in couples, I always ask them, what do you guys think this means? And I get a lot of different answers. Some of them are, well, for one thing, a man should be able to lift his own weight. In other words, be able to pull up or do a push up or, you know, be able to climb over a wall. I mean, if you can't even lift yourself, then what kind of a strength do you really have? Second, uh, climbing down without a rope could also imply that a part of masculine energy is to be innovative, to be able to come up with solutions without necessarily always having the exact tools that you need. So somebody who thinks, somebody who's creative. I hope some of these tips were helpful in understanding what it means to be masculine. And of course, uh, everybody has to discover this definition on their own, but I thought it would be beneficial to hear more about the Arabic language and what it has to offer. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe, and hopefully we'll make more on this subject soon. Take care.